Hello, everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck. I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. But if you like the episode, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up and I thank y'all in advance. So on this episode, we're going to be tasting and reviewing another beer from Sierra Nevada Brewing. And since we are smack dab in the middle of the holiday season, and I mean cut and dry, right in the middle, uh, the name of this beer is going to set the mood and set the tone. So I'm grabbing the bottle. Here we go. So what's the name of this beer? Well, this is Sierra Nevada's Celebration. The Celebration. I'm already celebrating because I'm wearing my red vest that matches the label perfectly. Color coordination here. Although, when I wear this vest, I do kind of feel like Marty McFly from uh, Back to the Future. Although I didn't jump ship, so that's okay. But back to the Celebration. So... This beer is released once a year, obviously, right around the holidays, and they've been brewing this beer for about 40 years or so. And what is the celebration? Well, this is a fresh hopped IPA. This beer clocks in at 6.8% ABV, and it's got an IBU of 65, and it's made with three different types of hops, and those hops are Cascade, Centennial, and Chinook. So, we're going to start the celebration. Why wait, you know? It's holiday season. Let's rock and roll with this. Uh, here we go. I'm popping the top. I'm, ce I'm celebrating. I'm not waiting any longer. Boom, boom. We are celebrating. One, two, three. Oh, it's a little bit of smoke. A little bit of smoke out of the bottle there. I grab a glass. Let's get a nice celebratory pour here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that should do it. We can celebrate with that much, I think. Sure. It's a good celebration amount. Uh, Color-wise, well, we have a darker copper. We have about ooh, two finger veil of slightly, 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 slightly uh, off-white carbonation. There is definitely a copper-esque tone to it. But uh, here we go. Let's give this a swirl and uh, let's give it a nose and see what we got uh, going on the aromas. Here we go. I'm going to nose it. I'm nosing the celebration. Ah. Okay, okay. Well, we have a little bit of pine. There is some citrus. Some orange zest. And one more quick nose here, because there is a little bit of... Yeah, slight caramel sweetness coming through as well. Um, so, you know, we're doing okay. But one more swirl, and uh, let's give this a sippy sip, and uh, let's see how we did on the celebration. Let's uh, do the celebration. Well, I'll save the celebration dance for after. Here we go. Prost. Hmm. Full-bodied beer. Let's start with that. Full-bodied. But one more sippity sip. Hmm. Well, I'm going to celebrate a little bit beforehand. What do we got going on here? Well, palate-wise, flavor-wise, pine. That pine is coming through. But we're also getting some stringent pine sap, which is really coming through. Even I mean, just it's just like a dart poking through there. Um, also getting... Some really, really, really slight, slight, slight citrus on this. And it's rounded out by some breadiness and some of those, um, you know, that caramel sweetness is kind of rounding it out as well. Um, let me give this one more sip here. And FYI, this is also drinking really, really bitter as well. Um, I mean, this is not a bad beer. It's, I, I know it's, it's, it's their seasonal, it's their holiday seasonal beer. Um, you know, the balance is okay on the nose. I think the balance is a little off on the palate. I mean, I, I'm not, I, yeah, as, a, as a holiday kind of-esque beer, I'm kind of thinking some, some of those warmer spicy notes should be coming through. Maybe some nutmeg or cinnamon, things like that, uh, which I'm not getting any of that at all. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just kind of average. I just, um, I mean, it's, like I said, it's, it is really, really bitter, and that bitterness is kind of, 
destroying all the other uh, flavors on the palate anyways. I mean, it's really overtaking that caramel sweetness. It's overtaking any, any resemblance of any citrus that's on this at all. It's really bitter. Um, I mean, it's not a bad beer. It's just, it's not what I'm expecting from a holiday-esque type of beer. Um, and it just kind of falls back into that Sierra Nevada category. I mean, it's not bad, but what would I give this on the pint meter I'm only going to give this one... I'm going to give this one a six. Um, you know, I would have given it a little bit higher rating. It's just, I just wish, I, I wish it wasn't so bitter. I mean, it is really, really bitter. Um, and if it wasn't as bitter, if that would have been brought down, I probably, I would have definitely bumped the rating up a notch. Um, not a bad beer. And is it worth drinking around the holiday season? Absolutely. And get the celebration started? Absolutely. So seek this one out. Get a six pack or a 12 pack if you're not driving anywhere. And uh, yeah, give it your own review. Not a bad beer. I just, I do like it. Just uh, has some balance issues. But with that, I'm going to wrap up this episode. I'm going to give this one more sip. And I want to thank everyone for tuning into this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubsatforpointed.com, or the blog, which is www.pubsatforpointed.blogspot.com. And with that, we will see you next time. So raise that pint. Cheers, prost, and enjoy.